Welcome everybody and today we are going to knit this beautiful cable headband. Uh, for this cable headband I was using uh, this is Chinese yarn um, the link where I bought it you can find uh, down uh, in the info, info box uh, this is um, well the producer says that uh, it is a wool but I, I guess it is 93% of wool and 7% of acrylic um, it's not that super soft but it's good I feel it's um, it has wool uh, and it smells like a wool uh, but it's not that super soft like uh, if you want to use it for uh, baby claws or something else uh, this ball is 50 grams and it has uh, 100 meters I was uh, I'm going to need uh, in two strands of yarns you can do it from one ball so just take uh, one tail from inside and outside and put them together but I was uh, knitting from two balls this is how much uh, is left so I think the one ball I'm sure one ball will be enough uh, for this headband for the headband I'm also going to use uh, six millimeter um, knitting needles uh, and at the end we will need a tapestry needle tapestry needle uh, to to sew together so as you see uh, we will have big cable and small cables uh, on this on the edges and uh, I have also salvage stitches from the beginning and at the end um, uh, actually that's all uh, ah, yeah I wanted to tell you that you can use a four ply uh, weight yarn so if we put together uh, two Two strands so we will get a, a, a approximately or about, about four ply uh, weight yarn number four and uh, I also wanted to show you you can also use bulky yarn if you want your headband to be a little bit wider this one I got uh, about uh, nine and a half uh, centimeters width and the lens I will I will sh show you how many so it's about 22 but I will tell you how many times I did this repetition so let's get started so I take uh, two strands of yarn and I'm going to cast on uh, 20 stitches. I'm using long tail cast on method. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the salvage stitch, uh, in my case, it means that I'm going always slip the first stitch pearl wise and uh, and pearl the very last stitch so as you can see we are in the pearl uh, we are in the pearl uh, row now 
And what else? I am going to to slip the first stitch pearlwise, then knit one and pearl three. One, two, three. Then knit two. Pearl six, one. This is our big cable. Three, four, five, six. Knit two. Pearl three, one, two, three. Knit one and the last stitch salvage as I said I pearl I always pearl the last stitch. So turn uh, slip the next row, slip the first stitch and pearl. Now you knit three one, two, three. Then you pick up the third stitch on the left hand needle and slip it over two, like this. Now, pearl two, knit six, one, two, three. Six. Go to need three. And then you repeat again. You pick up the third stitch and slip it over these two. Then Pearl and the last sewage stitch pearl as well. Pearl three, slip stitch, knit. So what you're going to do here, you decrease one stitch, so you need to add it. Pearl, then you make a yarn over and then pearl. Knit two, pearl six, four, five, six. Knit two and pearl. You pearl one, then yarn over, and then you pearl again, and knit, and pearl the last stitch. Turn. Slip stitch the first stitch, pearl, knit, then this is yarn over. To make a hole, you knit it through the front loop and knit again. Two, pearl two, knit six, pearl two, and again knit one, knit this Yarn over through the front loop and knit, pearl, and pearl the last stitch. Turn, turn, and 
next row. You slip the first stitch and knit and then curl three. One, two, three. Then knit two. Curls, curl six. Knit two. Curl three. Knit one and curl. And what we are going to do in this round, no, not in this, later, slip the first stitch, curl, Need three, so we repeat the second row. Pick up the third stitch and slip it over these two. Row two. Need six. Curl two, knit three, pick up the third stitch on the right hand, this is sorry, right hand uh, needle, slip it over, curl, curl. And now we are going to repeat the row number three, four, Five. Curl, yarn over, curl, knit two, curl six, knit two. Curl, curl, yarn over, curl, knit, and curl. Turn, number, row number four, we repeat row number four, knit, knit the yarn over through the front loop, Knit, curl two, knit six, knit, curl two, knit three, curl, curl. Turn. Mm -hmm. So we, we need the last row before we are going to make a cable twist. That is in the middle. That is in the middle. So, okay, now what we are going to do now, we are going to twist this uh, centered cable. Slip the first stitch, pearl one, one, knit, knit three, then you repeat again, you pick up, and slip it over, pearl two. Cable for this 
where we need a, an extra needle, same size or might be bigger, a bit smaller, it doesn't matter. You slip three stitches and leave it in front of the work. Knit three stitches from the left hand needle and then knit three stitches from the cable needle or extra needle. So we made a twist. Also, knit three, slip, row one, and sew each stitch that we curl. So, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to, to make pearl knit and pearl rows again then in the I mean right and wrong and again right side rows again in the then in the right side we are going to make slip stitches then we are going to knit four more rows and then we are going to make this twist again so let's do it together and then you're going to repeat everything so what I'm going to do let's say yarn over pearl knit two and then pearl six Need to pearl yarn over pearl knit pearl turn now we are going to knit this yarn over in this row knit six one Two, three, four, five, six, knit two, curl two, Just curl three, knit two, curl six, knit two, curl three, knit one, and sew each stitch. Okay, and now in this round, we are going to make again the slip stitch slip stitch but we are not going to make the twist in the uh, center cable so One, two, three. Pick up the third stitch on the right hand needle and slip it over. Go to knit six. Knit two, go to knit three. Yarn over. Pearl, pearl. Okay, so we 
turn the work, knit one, and curl, yarn over, curl, knit two, curl six, one, two, three, four, five, six, knit two, curl one, yarn over, curl one, knit one, and salvage stitch. Okay, and two more rows before we make it with slip, curl, knit three, one, two, three, curl two, knit six, knit six, three, four, five, six, curl two, knit three, Curl one and salvage stitch turn. Last row before we make it waist. Knit one, curl three, knit two, curl six, knit one, two. Curl three, knit one, and so stitch. Okay, and in this row, we are going to make a twist, and as as well as slip stitch, this slip stitch, uh, slip the first stitch, curl, knit three. Slip the third stitch over these two stitches, curl two, then take the cable needle and slip three stitches and keep it in front of the work. Knit three from the left hand needle, then knit three from the cable needle. Maybe twist, you see, the second twist. Curl two, knit three, and then slip the third stitch. Curl one, and salvage stitch curl. That's it. This is this is how it looks. And then what you're going, you're going to again repeat. So don't forget that when you make these slip stitches, there is no twist in this cable. And then you make this slip stitch, then again you have a twist here. One one time you have one time you don't have. Uh, you're going to make one, two, and you're going to make eight more twists, cable twists. I, I'm talking about big cable, the center cable twist. Uh, in total, 10 twists. Uh, you are going to finish with the same row. You make a twist and that's all. You cut the yarn, leaving about 10 centimeter tail, and then you take a tapestry needle and yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit. Uh, I'm usually showing this for and using it for all my cables, uh, horizontal invisible seam method. Um, so it 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 works really well with a um, uh, stocking it pattern. Here it doesn't work that well, but let's see. That's how it works here. I'll show you the main idea. Otherwise, you can just simply sew it in a way you know. Um, so we find this gull. Gull. 
and I go under these two loops. Under these two loops, and then I find the previous slipped stitch. Yeah, it is. And yeah, like this. And then I simply slip. Uh, slip the next stitch okay then I find again the gal the nearest to the edge and then I find that I, I find that slip I find that slip stitch, yeah, this one. I go in the middle of that slip stitch and I go in the middle of the next stitch on the left hand needle and I slip it. Okay, the next curl go under here. Then again, I find that it's a little bit hard to find the steel because I'm using two strands of yarn. This one. So you go inside here and then you go inside here. And then you go under two loops. And again. I have to find the slip. This one. You see? This is a slipped stitch. In the middle, I go in the middle and then I go in the middle here. And then I go under two loops. Then I go again in the middle here. In the middle here and then I go under here. Oops. So slippery. I should leave a little bit more to you. So this is how it looks. So the next one is a pearl, you, you know that you have two pearl stitches here, so you go under, you find here two gulls, this is the And then you go again under here. 
then you go again in the middle of the previous Okay, three more stitches. There's somewhere one more go. Yes, and the last stitch, it is a solid stitch, so you go simply here like this, you go, that's it, that's it, that's how it's going, the invisible symptom, you whip in ends. Well, it's not in, it's not invisible from the wrong side, but it's more or less invisible from the right side. You you know how to weave in ends. Simply go inside in this seam. And pull it tight. That's it. The headband is over. Uh, it's finished. Um, forgot to, uh, to say that uh, this headband will suit head from 53 centimeter to 58 or might be 60 but you, it's easily to correlate with this twisters twists with the length of the headband i hope you like it um, thank you for watching and hope to see you again here on my channel bye